Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to be coming back to you guys with another tutorial. I haven't done one in a minute. If you're new to my channel, this is the first time you're seeing my face, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like tutorials and product reviews. I do upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there'll be tons of content for you to enjoy. And make sure you click that notification bell. So for today's video, we are doing a tutorial and I also got some new products from the brand Glossier. So I'll be trying them out on camera and giving you guys my feedback. I did this look in my last video for my April favorites and some of you guys requested a tutorial on that. So I did that, but I also kind of spiced it up with some more natural makeup to just make it a little bit more wearable and not kind of crazy, crazy glam, you know what I mean? That's kind of unrealistic, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you like this look and you wanna see how to recreate it, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And uh, let's go ahead and just get right into it. Oh, before, I almost forgot. <laughs> I am planning on doing a live stream on YouTube, and I wanna know if Saturdays at noon is a good time. If you think that you can make that and you'd like to watch that, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the eyes. All right guys, so jumping straight into this, I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Smashbox 24 Hour Eye Primer. I love it because it goes on really colorless and provides an excellent, excellent base for our eyes. Then we're gonna go ahead and set it with a flesh toned eyeshadow color. I'm using Smarty Pants from the Tartlet in Bloom palette. So now the first transitional color, I'm gonna go into the uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And this is one of my favorite transition colors. It's called Puree. And you really wanna go back and forth on this and make sure that you've got a nice, evenly blended transition. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of Summer Yum from the same palette to give it a little bit more of an orangey tone. All right, so now is where the real fun starts. We get to add a little bit of some color, and we're gonna go into some purple tones. Reaching into my Nude Tood palette, I'm gonna pick up this purple color. It's called Sexy, and I'm gonna add this as a transitional purple, you guys. So I'm adding it to the outer edge and also taking it to the inner edge. So now I'm gonna use a flat brush and I'm going back to the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and adding this uh, purple color called Delectable. Also making sure to bring it to the inner um, corner area. Okay, so notice how I've left this middle area vacant. We're gonna go ahead and add that pop of gold color. So now I'm adding Spark from uh, Butter London. It's really like a wet kind of eyeshadow custard material, and that's gonna look so, so pretty when we add that to the center of the eye. So now I'm adding just a little bit of gold. I'm using the color Seductive from the Balm palette, and I'm just gonna like add a really nice transitional color. And this just kind of like really helps to blend out the edges just a tad. I'm gonna move on to the face, and I got some new products from Glossier that I've been wanting to try out. This one is their Priming Moisturizer. I think it should be pretty interesting. I've never used any products from Glossier before, and um, let's see what this feels like. So far, I definitely like the feel of it. From my understanding, I think Glossy products are 
more like for the natural slash minimalist makeup person. Um, it's super, super creamy, like very moisturizing, and I'm curious to see how it does with you know maintaining that oil hopefully you know it keeps all the oils and juices in check so today for foundation I have the uh, Giorgio Armani luminous silk I'm actually also going to be using my Clarisonic and I'm really excited to just kind of show you guys what it looks like again on camera since I did that review on it which you guys can of course check out after this video and I'm just gonna be dotting the foundation on. It's okay if this isn't an exact match for my skin tone. We're gonna fix that later on with some setting powders. Now with this brush, I just like to work in sections because I feel like it's just easier, you know? Okay, so it did blend out smoothly. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Matte Concealer, and this is the shade Amand or Amande. I never really know how to say it right, but y'all know what I mean. And I always find that this concealer goes on best with this Kat Von D Concealer Brush. Just allows me to place it and blend it out a lot better than a beauty blender. That's just how I feel about it, but you know. Now, of course, we wanna set that like right away. We don't wanna allow any time for creasing, and I'm gonna use my favorite Laura Mercier Medium Deep and just place that in and then dust away the excess. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. So you guys, I didn't really go crazy with like all the rest of the face highlighting. I wanted to keep my face looking more natural because the eyes are like the center of attention here. So now I'm just gonna go on and bronze my face. We've got Old Faithful here. I'm going into the contour shade, the lightest one. It's called Three, I believe, that's the number. So for my cheeks today, I'm using something new. I'm using the Glossier Cheek Tint, and I swatched this, and it looked so, so pretty. I was like, damn, I gotta try this. So I'm hoping I apply it right. Just putting a little bit on my fingers and putting it on the apples of my cheek. It's like super subtle. I think I'm actually gonna go for the more rosy color. Okay, so I'm back. I went and I got, what is this called? Uh, Cloud Paint in Puff. That's the more pinky color. And I'm gonna see if that shows up just a little bit more on camera for you guys. This is like super pink, so I'm gonna go light. I actually really like it. It's really, really subtle in person it also looks really beautiful and now I'm so excited for this highlighter guys this is called topaz and it kind of looks funny but I'm telling you when you swatch it whoo it's incredible so I'm just going to apply it right here and then I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers this is definitely more of a natural highlighter look. You can always layer, and I always suggest this, layer a powder highlight on top of a liquid to help keep it in place. Taking this little stippling brush, I'm going into Laura Geller's uh, Gilded Honey and just setting that. For the lips, I'm being a little bit adventurous for me. I'm trying the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. It's like a universal skin salve. So it's really, really natural looking. And when I squeeze it on my finger, this is what it looks like. So it's actually more of a like lip balm type of material. And it definitely gives your lips like a slight cherry tint, which is really nice. Again, if you're into the natural look, yeah, 
it's really cute. Overall, I think that's really good for like an everyday natural look or like a, I'm going to work and I'm trying to be like low key cute, but not extra, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's the final look today. Um, I really just kind of wanted to mix kind of like dramatic and natural in the same look, you know what I mean? Face is pretty natural-ish <laughs> and so are the lips, but the eyes are just like that big pop of color. And I definitely went kind of easy on the eyes. If you want to even make it more dramatic, you can add false lashes. You can really make your own lashes pop. It's really up to you. But this was just kind of like my personal preference today. I didn't want to go like wild with uh, the false lashes and all that jazz. As for the Glossier products, I really like that they're very like minimalist, natural, makeup friendly. I think that's really important. It's not always about glam, glitz, and slayage all the time. And definitely for, like I said, those everyday looks, it's awesome. As far as making your makeup super dramatic, um, I don't think it really performs in that category as well, but I would definitely use them. Um, I'm stoked that I got them. I think the highlighter Topaz was like my favorite one. And uh, yeah, I think it's almost comparable, like the same texture as the Milk Makeup one that I showed you guys recently. If you haven't seen that, check out my review. And if you guys wanna check out more of my makeup tutorials, be sure to check out the makeup tutorials playlist. I have over 40 videos in there, so you're bound to find some really good stuff that you like. Tune in Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday at 9 a.m. I will have a new video for you. Love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!